When a short circuit occurs, the amount of current flowing through the conductor might surpass nominal current during short periods of time, heating up the insulator. It is necessary to verify that the proposed cross-section can withstand the maximum short-circuit current. The adiabatic method is used to calculate the minimum conductor size or another current-carrying conductor when heat loss from the current-carrying component during the short circuit is neglected. The adiabatic method is a conservative approach that is valid for short-circuit duration of up to 5 seconds. The adiabatic equation shown is used to calculate the minimum cross-section of the cable during a short circuit. T represents the duration of short-circuit current in seconds. S represents cross-section area of insulated conductor in square millimeters. I represents short-circuit current. K represents insulated conductor constant. The factor K is dependent on the cable insulation, allowable temperature rise under fault conditions, conductor resistivity, and heat capacity. Typical values of K are shown in the table. Let's see a practical example of how to calculate the minimum cross-section of a cable to withstand the short circuit current. We will consider the fault current of 14 kiloamps. A protective device trip in two seconds and a cable thermo setting 90 degrees celsius xlpe with the constant k143 after applying the adiabatic equation we see that the minimum cross section is 138 square millimeters when selecting a cable the performance of the cable under fault conditions is an important consideration it is important that calculations be carried out to ensure that any cable is able to withstand the effects of any potential fault or short circuit. The primary concern with cables under a fault condition is the heat generated, and any potential negative effect this may have on the cable insulation. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please hit the like button. If you want to see more videos, hit the subscribe button.